what i want to share with you today is the thermodynamics part 2 dear children myself dr dignya vargis thermodynamic properties of a system thermodynamics cannot give us the fine microscopic details but can only tell us about the bulk properties of the system that means when we are considering a system which contain a large number of molecules or atoms or ions so there are a large number of particles in a particular system this as such considering in a thermodynamics that means thermodynamics tell us only the bulk properties of a system so it defines only the macroscopic properties of a system this means that it cannot tell us about microscopic details if we are considering the microscopic details of a system it consider the system as a individual entity that means it consider every single point of particles but in thermodynamics only considering the bulk property of a system therefore thermodynamics can be defined as a science concerned with the relationships between the large scale bulk that is the macroscopic properties of a system which are measurable that is such as elastic modulus volume temperature pressure and specific heat for this reason thermodynamics belongs to classical physics or classical thermodynamics the physical characteristics which are experimentally measurable and which enable us to define a system is called thermodynamics properties of a system or when we are considering a system like this or a cons- we are considering a water taken in a glass this is our system and we can study its characteristics by a measurable quantities which are experimentally measurable quantities that means temperature pressure volume etc so these variables here we only discussing three variables some other variables are there to define a system these variables can be used to define a system such variables such experimentally measurable properties or variables to define a system are called the thermodynamic properties of a system macroscopic properties a thermodynamic property associated with the collective behavior of a large number of particles that is atoms or molecules or ions etc for example we are considering a system in which a large number of atoms or molecules or ions are present in a thermodynamic point of view we are considering the entire system that means we are considering the bulk of a system we are considering the bulk of a system so this is also known as thermodynamic variables the thermodynamic variables which used to 
determine the behavior of the system or which require to define the macroscopic properties of a system for example some variables are given here pressure volume temperature density viscosity refractive index surface tension composition these types of variables used to study the behavior the collective behavior of a large number of particles in a system such variables are known as macroscopic properties of a system or thermodynamic variables of a system for example we are considering if you want to know any information about a system we are considering a water taken in a glass this is our system under study we want to study the water in a glass then we need some variables for the study what is the pressure of here what is the temperature of water what is the volume of water what is the composition of water what is the surface tension of water so we have to define the system or macroscopic properties of a system or a thermodynamic variables of a system such variables such thermodynamic variables requires to define the system okay then once again i will tell you a thermodynamic property associated with the collective behavior of a large number of particles that is known as macroscopic properties in order to de determine what is a what state of a system we have to define some variables that is known as thermodynamic variables state of a system the state of a system refers to the set of the thermodynamic variables that is macroscopic properties whose values describes the system a system in a definite state means when its macroscopic properties have definite values for example an ice cold juice which is taken in a glass is our system we have to consider this system the state of a system some macroscopic properties whose values describes this particular system it has some temperature value that is t1 some volume v1 and some composition c1 etc and such a system or such a macroscopic properties whose values define its state that is known as state of a system state variables or state functions of a system means state of a thermodynamic system is defined by the values of such thermodynamic variables that is state variables or state functions of a system state variables or state functions 
state of a thermodynamic system defined by the values of thermodynamic properties. When we are considering a system, it has some thermodynamic variable values like T1, P1, V1, etc. This define the state of a system. Change in a state. If there is a change in one of the macroscopic properties of a system, if the system undergoes a change, if its temperature T1 changes to T2, P1 changes to P2 or remains the same and V1 there is no change if one of the macroscopic properties of a system any one of the macroscopic properties of a system is changed this means the state of a system undergoes a change that is change in a state occurs state variables are the variables of a system its value determines the state of a system such variables are known as state variables or state functions if there is a change in any one of the macroscopic properties of a system which define its state of a system such change occurs then the system said to be or state of a system said to be changed state function or state variable a property of a system whose values depends upon the state of the system only and does not depend upon the path by which the state has been attained for example, we are considering a state that is if we are taken water in a glass, initial state of a system means initial volume value is V1. After some time, it changes its volume to V2. A property of a system defined by some thermodynamic variables pressure volume temperature like this any one of the variable changes from its initial state to final state then the system changes its state and if any property of a system whose value depends upon the state of a system only and does not depend upon the path by which the state has been attained. Such uh, variables or such a state of a system is known as state function or state variables. Variables like pressure, volume, temperature are called state functions because their values depends only on the state. Variables like pressure, volume, temperature are state functions because their values depends only on the state of the system and note how it is reached that means it does not depend upon the path in this case water can be poured from well we can pour the water from some bottle we can pour the water to the glass from tap but we are considering only the change of a system from V1 to V2 that means initial 
position to final position and does not depend upon the path by which the state has been attained. It depends upon only the initial and final state of the system. That means first case initial state is V1 is its volume and it changes to final state V2 and what is the path or how it is reached from V1 to V2 is not measured here. Only initial and final state is measured here which is known as function of state or point function. Here we are considering state A changes to initial state to state B. It can be directly changes from A to B or it can be moved like this way to B. But state function is that function it considering only the initial state and final state of the system and does not depend upon the path by which the state has been attained or the state does this particular function does not depend upon the path or which does not depend upon the A to B how it is reached to from A to B such system is known as state function state function depends upon the system which only the initial and final state of the system Examples of state functions in thermodynamics mass, energy, enthalpy, internal energy, Gibbs free energy, Helmholtz free energy, entropy, and others are pressure, temperature, volume, chemical composition, then specific volume, reciprocal of specific volume, then altitude, particle number, etc. are some examples of state functions in thermodynamics. The state variables may be classified into two groups. One is intensive variables and the other one is extensive variables. Intensive property and extensive property. Intensive property. Properties which are independent of the quantity or size of the matter present in the system. It's not an additive property. Examples for intensive properties are pressure, temperature, density, viscosity, refractive index, surface tension. We are considering a system that is water in a open tank. It has some pressure, it has some temperature and some density of water present in this particular tank. When we are dividing into identical systems or when we are dividing into fragments, the pressure of the system is P1 here. The pressure of the system in next fragment will be P1 and temperature is T1 here temperature is also T1 there is no change when of pressure temperature occurs after it is divided into half so such properties which are independent of the quantity or size of the matter present in the system and it is not an additive property. The value of the property that P1 remains the same after division of the system. So 
Such properties are known as intensive properties. That means, once again I will tell you, that is when two or more identical systems are brought together to one fragment or the system is divided into different fragments, the value of the property remains the same. Such property is known as intensive property. Intensive property, the properties which are depend upon the quantity or size of the matter present in the system. It's an additive property. Examples for the extensive properties are mass, volume, surface area, energy, enthalpy, entropy, free energy, heat capacity. We are considering a water system in an open tank. We know extensive property depends upon the size of the or quantity of the matter present in it. If we are divided into two equal parts, the mass of the system changes to m by 2. Here also it changes to m by 2. If 2 equal halves, its volume changes from V to V by 2 and volume changes to V by 2. That means it depend upon the quantity or the size of the matter present in the system. If energy initial state is E1 when it is changes to change B its energy value is E2 there is a change in energy occurs that will also an extensive property. So such type of properties which depend upon the quantity or size of the matter present in the system are known as extensive property. The ratio of two extensive property is yield an intensive property. The ratio of two extensive property is yield an intensive property. We know extensive properties are depending upon the quantity of the matter present in the system. An intensive property is independent of the matter or quantity of the matter present in the system. Extensive property is an additive property that means it depends upon the quantity. Intensive property it is independent of the quantity. For example mass by volume is density. Here mass is the extensive property that depends upon the quantity that depends upon the quantity of the system and volume is also the quantity present or depend upon the quantity of the system so it is an extensive property extensive property divided by extensive property we will get an intensive property here density density is an intensive property which depends uh, does not depend upon the quantity of the matter present in the system density means the water in an open tank the density of water is the same as the water in a glass path function or path variable a property of a system which depends upon the path followed in attaining its state path functions depends on the path taken to reach from one state to another examples it is also known as process function process quantity examples for path functions are heat work arc length etc in this case we considering a system a and and system a changes to system b some 
work is done on A to attain state B. So, this can be done in X path or Y path and so on. If it is a state function, it depends upon the initial state A and B only. But it is a path function, it depends upon the path, how it is reached from A to B. So it is a path dependent function. State A to state B changes occurs. Some work should be done in order to change its state from A to B. We have to do some work either in X path or in Y path. That is a path function. It is also known as a process function or a process quantity. If take examples like heat transfer. From A, initial temperature is or initial heat of the system, heat energy of the system is H1 or another is H2 simply representing H1 and H2 and here the system changes from X path to attain H1 to H2 or it taken another path y to h1 to h2 here the path depending on the function to attain from a state to b state such type of property is known as path functions or path variables